Already. I know. Okay. So here we go. We're going to go and look at this and do uh, the slope between two points. I'm hoping you guys remember the equation. Does anyone remember? Beautiful. In our first problem here, this is our x1, y1, x2, y2. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to put them around parentheses so you guys can see them. My y1 or y2 is going to be 1. My y1 is going to be 5. x2 is going to be negative 10, negative 20. It's helpful when you put them in there like that to get a value, uh, to, to make sure that your negatives and values are all correct. So when we do this, 1 minus 5, negative 4. Negative 10 minus negative 20 is keep, change, flip, which will give me 10. Now, there was a question last, uh, last period. Um, can you leave it like this? Yes, if it was just asking you for the slope. But can we reduce it to what? 2 over 5. Well, why, why does it matter, Mr. Aguilar? My biggest opinion for you is that it, what if it gives you a um, – what if it gives you a solution, a multiple-choice solution that's not up there? You're going to have to simplify it in that term that it's looking for. So just keep that aware. Okay, keep that aware. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to do these a little bit faster. 5y2 minus y1. x2 minus x1. 5 minus 12. Negative 7, 9 minus negative 20. Negative 11. Again, can you leave it like that? Yeah, but just simplify it out. Positive. Last one, y2 minus y1, negative 5, minus 19, 21 over 14. Can that be reduced to which one? 7. Seven. Oh, Good stuff. Okay, do me a favor. We're going to practice these word problems that we did yesterday. You can use your notes with them. You can use your notes at all. Okay. Then we're going to do two substitution, hopefully two elimination. I'm going to try to give you a tricky one. I'm going to try, try to. You'll see. It's a mystery. Here we go. Not that, not that. Did we do this one already? No. Let's skip that one then. It's okay. Let's look at this one. Copy down the problem. Oh, no, no, no. Don't copy down the problem. Solve it. Again, we're comparing to... We have two items. We have our box to kind of set it up. I'm going to let S be my small, L be my large. And that's what I want to put in for item one and item two, so I, I know I can separate them. Now at the start of one of them, or at least for one of them, we can either say Leah and Mark for start and after. Leah sold how many? Small. So 13S. And nine large. How much did you total out to? 349. Now, these numbers, I think, are going to be pretty big when we solve this, right? Mark, on the other hand, so if you want to really change the context of this problem, we can. 
You can do the sar or after. The same kind of thing applies. This would be Leah. This would be Mark if we wanted to. Mark sold how many? 14S and nine large, averaging a total of 362. Okay. So we have the context of our problem. We're going to go ahead and say that each column that we have here is an equation. So we're going to get 13S plus 9L is equal to 349. I should have done that in blue. Let's see what I'm doing. Our red one's going to be 14S. Come on. Plus 9L is equal to 362. What type of, this is definitely a system, so what type of solving are we going to use? Elimination. We've got to circle both of them. So we're going to use elimination on this. They're stacked already. Which term do I want to get rid of, the small or large? Large, right? They're already the same number. We just got to make one of them opposite. Now, what do you want me to get rid of? The blue or red? Blue? Is there a reason why? Bigger? That's fine. That's fine with me. You can really use up to your own discretion for this. I'm going to try to erase this a little bit, give you guys more space. So, top one by a negative. Negative 13s minus 9l Okay, so we now have our two equations here we can use let's use elimination 14s and 13s is just going to give me s 9l negative 9l is going to go away 362 away from 349. What do we got? 13. How much does a small box of grapefruits cost? 13 bucks. Is that good price? I don't know what the price of grapefruit goes to. No, bad? Expensive? I think the boxes at Costco go for what? Like seven bucks, maybe? I'm not a grapefruit guy. I just know that. Okay. Am I done here? What should I do? Plug it into the equation to find for the value of L. So what, what, what one do we want to use? 14? Middle one? We can use the middle one. 14 times 13 for our S value. Plus 9L is equal to 362. Just because I'm running out of space. 14 times 13. One eight two. Three sixty two minus one eighty two would give me what? One eighty. L is equal to twenty. So in this case, smalls equal thirteen bucks. Larges are twenty. That was a lot. Super extra. Let's try another one. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 
jumped over that. You know. Let's do this one. Trayvon School is selling tickets to the annual talent show. Can't even speak right now. On the first day, the ticket sales one sold uh, sold one tic adult ticket. Eleven child. God, I can't speak today. Ah, I'm just gonna popcorn read everyone. No, no, no too old school. No, no. Ooh, man. Okay, let me read this again. Trayvon School is selling tickets to the annual uh, talent show. On the first day of the ticket sales, the school sold one adult ticket and 11 child's ticket uh, for a total of 105. The school took 132 on the second day by selling one adult ticket and 14 child tickets. Find the price of an adult and child. So set up the, set up, set up the chart. Okay. What two are, you, are we comparing? Adult and child. Adult and child. So A for adult, C for child. So try to come up with those two equations. If you don't need it, no. I'm just trying to show people that need the need the actual structure. How many of the actual structure actually helps you guys out? Does it actually does it give you a direction to help you? Out? Good. I'm happy with that. It gives you a direction to go with, right? Instead of just kind of doing it, you know. Adult and child ticket. On the first day, we have one A, so one adult. I'm missing the other one, aren't I? I even skipped the whole. Gosh, I'm out of it today. Skip the whole row. How did I even do that? Let me do this. One A. 11 C, 105, one adult again, 14 children with a total of 132. Yes, can I put it together? We're gonna get one A, 11C is equal to 105. Which one do I want to get rid of? The adult or child ticket? Adult. I'm just going to do the bottom one. I'll do the top one. Let's do the top one. Oh, top one. Negative 1A by negative, negative 11C, negative 105. We're going to get 3C is equal to 27. C is equal to 9. How much for the price of a child's ticket? $9. Nine bucks.
We're going to take this and plug it back in. I'll plug this one back into the one down below. One adult ticket plus 14 times nine child's tickets equals 132. 1A plus, was that 3126? A is equal to. Well, I must have the boo boo somewhere in my last place. So. Oh, no, it's the same price. Why, why adults? I don't the adults, chickens, adults, chickens, 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 chickens. Long day. Whatever. It's a talent show. They're, they're sucking the money out of the kids. It is. Okay. Not a lot. Okay, here we go. Let us do. Let us go. Let us go. Let me see these next pair. Solve by substitution. By substitution. This is practice. 